Welcome to the UW Libraries tutorial on citations. In this video, you'll learn when to cite a resource and why citations are important, the styles of citations you might come across during your research, what you need to create a citation, as well as additional library resources to help with citations. Let's get started. First, let's discuss when to use a citation and why. An in-text citation is used whenever you are directly quoting or paraphrasing content that you got from a paper, a blog post, newspaper or news website, etc. Basically, anytime you're presenting an idea that came from someone else's work, you cite it. This is important for many reasons. It's giving credit to the work that others have done and therefore supports your own credibility as a researcher. Taking credit for someone else's work is not good practice. Additionally, citing your references leaves a trail of breadcrumbs that other researchers can follow to the original work cited in your paper. This helps both the professor grading your paper now, as well as the researchers and academics you might work with down the road. If someone wants to continue building on work you've presented in the past, the citations you've provided allow your colleagues to trace the ideas back to their source. In case you get citation fever, know that you don't need to cite things that are common knowledge. This is information that is generally known and that can be answered easily, such as there are 24 hours in the day, except daylight savings time, of course. When in doubt, cite. It's never bad to give credit, but forgetting to cite information is considered plagiarism and can have serious consequences. Now let's go over the types of citation styles. You've probably heard of MLA, APA, and Chicago. These are three of the many different types of citation styles, and good news, you don't need to know everything about a citation style in order to start creating citations. Maybe you already have a style you know and love, or perhaps an instructor assigned a citation style to your class. In general, MLA is used across the humanities, including music, philosophy, English and history. APA is common among the social sciences, and Chicago tends to span across all fields of study. No matter which citation style you're using to cite your references, you will generally need the same information when creating a citation for a resource. The author or editor's name, or names if there's more than one. The title of the resource you're citing, the title of the publication or the publishing company, and the date of publication. If you're citing a journal article, you will also need the page numbers of that article, as well as volume and issue of publication. For a website, make sure to get the URL. If you use the UW Library catalog for your research, you're in luck. Each catalog record includes an option to generate a citation for that resource. This can save time, but make sure you double check that all the information generated matches the resource you're planning to cite. For additional support in creating citations and understanding different citation styles, check out the UW Library's guide on citation styles and tools. You can also set up a research help appointment with a librarian in the OWRC. This concludes the tutorial on citations. Thank you for watching.